So my research focuses on the effect of digital uh, media on the way scientists produce and diffuse uh, scientific information. So from, the, from a production point of view, uh, digital information uh, helped uh, created an increase in collaboration because it's now easier to communicate with science, scientists throughout the world to sh share information, to share papers. Um, we see that the number of scientists per, author, per article, so the number of authors basically per article, has increased uh, tremendously. And also that uh, quite a lot of these collaboration are international. So uh, actually for Canada, it's basically 50% of all of the scientific papers uh, that are the result of uh, international collaboration. From a uh, scientific diffusion point of view, we see that the uh, that digital information uh, basically competed or created a new competition for scientific journals, which was the main mean of diffusion of scientific research. And so while it is still the main, the main mean of diffusion, we see an increase in e-prints of, of new discoveries that are mentioned or that are diffused through blogs or tweets. And so um, this has challenged the role of top scientific journals. Um, journals such as Science and Nature actually um, attract um, a decreasing number of top papers. So basically, we see a di diversification of the publication venues where top uh, articles or top research is being published. It's no longer only published in the top scientific journals.